G'day guys, hope everyone's um, staying safe um, and healthy um, and okay, well thank you also for um, the amazing feedback from the, t- the teams I've done so far, the Ashes combined team, my best England team and my best Aussie test team that I played with, so it's been pretty cool to get the feedback and um, the messages has been pretty awesome actually, so enjoying this one today, I'm going to do my best Indian team that I've played against. Um, not easy. There's been some very, very good players uh, that I've played against, but um, I've managed to get a pretty good team, I think. Yeah, I think I've got a pretty good side. So I've got this team here. Um, just want to see what everyone's... See who's on there to say hello to. Let me see who's here. What am I doing? Uh, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Shiv Kumar, I'm good. Thank you very much, mate. Harry Massey, g'day, mate. How are you, pal? Ollie, g'day. Uh, who else is on in here? Oh, what have I done? Uh, why has that come up? Okay, got it. Liking the beard. Mm. It's getting a bit itchy. I think I might have, it's getting a bit grey and ginger and all sorts, so I think I might have to go soon. Um, oh, what have I done? Okay, let's just get into this team. There's not too many questions being asked here. Just saying hello. So I'm saying hello back to you all. And thank you very much for joining uh, the chat. Right, let's get into the team. Uh, right, okay, so openers. So it was tough to get the... Um, there were so many good openers that I'd played against for India and so many dangerous ones, but I don't think there was anyone more dangerous than uh, Seabag. I think he was a ripper. He was such a dangerous player uh, and such a great player. So Verinda Seabag was opening. Now, his partner was a hard one to choose because there was Ravi Shastri, who got 200 in my first test match, and I played a bit against him, and he was such a good player. Handy left arm spinner as well. Very, very good cricketer. So it was hard to leave him out. Um, There was Chris Shrikanth, who I played against at the top. Dilip Van Sarka, but he sort of batted three. Um, There was a few other openers, but I thought I had to pick... Um, Sidhu because the reason I picked Sidhu to go in there with Sivag is because Sidhu was the best player of spin that I ever bowled against. He was brutal against all of us spinners and I think a lot of the spinners that I've spoken to also found Sidhu the hardest batsman um, to bowl to as a spinner. I'm not saying he was the greatest player, he was a great player but against spin he was he was brutal. So I've, my opening combination for India was Sivag and Sidhu, they were the top two. Um, let's see if people like those two and agree there, or they have someone else in mind. Uh, no, g'day guys, thank you for joining me. Hello, yep, hello, hello, yeah, all good. Okay, people seem to like those two. Uh, number three, uh, well, there's, as I said, Ben Sarka was a guy that batted at number three. There's a few others that could have batted at number three as well, but in the end, I think Rahul Dravid, the wall, um, you couldn't go past Raul Dravid. He was such a good player, such a great guy too. Uh, became a friend, got to know him very well at the Rajasthan Royals during the IPL times uh, and over the years of playing against him. Um, one of the best knocks against um, that I played in a team that against when I was bowling was Hampshire versus Kent and Rahul made 100. Uh, it was a really good 100 a very, very good hundred. Um, so, yeah, he made plenty of hundreds against Australia in that as well. So, I'd have to say Rahul Dravid at three. So, Sivag, Sidhu and Rahul Dravid at three. They were the top three. Four was a pretty easy pick for me. Sachin Tendulkar at number four. You know, I've said all the stuff about Sachin. There's not much more to say. He was just a, a great player. So, Sachin at four. Now, it gets a little bit more tricky because there's a lot of people that could bat at number five and six. Um... I said Ben Sarka early days was very good, but he was more of a top order player. Uh, but I decided to go with number five and number six. There was Laxman could go in there too, but I didn't pick him. He was a very good player. Um, but I ended up going with Muhammad Azruddin at number five. And it was Laxman or Ganguly at number six, but I thought Surav Ganguly at number six for his left-handed batting. And also he was the captain of my team of India. I thought he brought a hardness uh, to India and that's why he got the nod just over Laxman um, and that makes the top six. So Verinda Sivag, Sidhu, Raul Dravid, Sachin, Azradin and Ganguly as a captain. They were my top six batsmen. Um, 
poof, when you look at that, you wouldn't like bowling to those guys. They're pretty good players. Um, let's see if anyone agrees with that and likes those top six players. Uh, hello. Yep. Hello, guys. How are you? Thanks for joining. Hello. Like my top six. Yep. People seem to like that. They agree with me there. I'm going all the way down the bottom. Ganguly and Azradin, yep. Uh, Laxman, yeah, well, I would have liked to pick Laxman. He was going to bat at number six. He was five or six, but I thought Azradin was probably a bit better player. And Ganguly Laxman was a real toss-up. But I went for Ganguly because I wanted him to be my captain as well. So, unfortunately, that's why VVS misses out. Right. Uh, the next, number seven, Kapil Dev. It was an easy one here. One of the world's greatest all-rounders, Kapil. So I um, decided to go with Kapil Dev at number seven. Number eight, this was an interesting one, actually. I looked at the bowls. I wanted to play two spinners for India and probably only one quick because you got Kapil Dev. And this guy could bowl a bit. You also, Sachin could bowl a bit too. Seaway could bowl some off-spin. Ganguly could bowl. So I only went with one genuine quick and then a bit of an all-rounder, this next one, at number eight. Um, wow, well, you know, number eight was it was an all rounder. Do you do who do you actually go for at number eight? So I decided I'll go for a keeper at number eight. And the, high, the hardest one was what keeper do I go for at number eight? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to ask you guys what keeper you think should be at number eight. So I've got my top seven, which I'll do again if you've just joined me. And that was Sivag, Sidhu, Dravid, Sachin, Azradin, Ganguly, Kapildev. That's my top seven. Now the wicketkeeper at number eight, then two spinners and Srinath. Okay, so come on. Which wicketkeeper do you guys reckon I should go for? You're going to help me pick my keeper today. Uh, keeper, yeah. We're, no one's saying a keeper yet. No, not Glen McGrath, not Harbhajan Singh. No, they don't keep. <laughs> Come on. MS Dhoni. Well, of course I'd pick MS Dhoni, but I never, ever played a test match against uh, MS. If I had played a test match against MS, uh, he would definitely be in there. But unfortunately, I didn't. So I can't pick Dhoni in my side. I'd love to. He was He's world class. One of the best ever, if not the best ever, Dhoni. I uh, love everything about MS and what he brings to the table. But unfortunately, I never played against him. So... Have to think of another keeper. And you need a good one because my two spinners, which I picked, were Harbage and Singh and Anil Kumble, two of the, the greatest spinners to have played the game. I loved everything about Harbage and Singh and Anil Kumble and the way they bowled. Um, so, yeah, those two guys are the spinners. And then I went for Srinath as the quick. So the only spot I haven't got is the keeper. And I'm trying to work out what keeper should it be. Uh, Kieran Mora, yeah, good one. Nine Mongi was another good one. That I played against. Unfortunately, Rishabh Pant and Dhoni, I didn't play test cricket against, so I can't pick those guys. Everyone's saying Dhoni here. Of course it's Dhoni, I'll say it again, but I didn't play against him, so I can't pick him. Um, Gilly, no, he doesn't play for India. <laughs> Mongia, yeah, I think that's who I'm probably leaning towards, nine Mongia. So I'm going to go with Mongia as well. Most of you guys agree with that, so I put Mongia in this team here at number eight. Mongia. Right, I, so my team is Verinda Seawag, Sidhu, Dravid, Sachin, Azradin, Ganguly Captain, Kapil Dev at seven, Nine Mongia at eight, Harbhajan Singh nine, Anil Kumble ten, Srinath eleven. Um, the, the two people that you know you would put in this side are Virat Kohli and um, MS Dhoni, but unfortunately I never played Test cricket against those guys, so the criteria the best players I played against in test cricket. I can't pick them because I didn't play against them. So I'd love to put Virat in there because to me he's the greatest all-round batsman in the world right now. Um, and I think in all formats, if you had to pick one batsman, Virat Kohli would be it. MS Dhoni, probably one of the greatest ever wicketkeeper batsmen going around. Um, so that will obviously go in. I um, want to talk a little bit more about Anil Kumble. Um, you know, for a guy who didn't spin the ball a long way. One of the reasons he got so many wickets was his bounce and he's obviously his skill, but it was his brain. He thought about it so well and he was hungry. He was a competitor. Even though he's a gentleman, he's quiet, he's a super competitor, Anil Kumble. And I loved getting to know him, loved calling him a friend and um, watching him bowl. I always enjoyed it and he did so well. So 
That's my team for today, uh, Indian team. I've got plenty of other teams we've picked. Pakistan, West Indies, South Africa, New Zealand, World 11s. They'll all be coming up over the next uh, few days. But uh, let's see what else people are saying and then see if they agree with my team. Uh, Virat and Dhoni. Well, yes, no, I didn't play against him. Dhoni, no, didn't play against him. I've said that. Uh, Wicketkeeper, Harbhajan Singh. Yep, he's in there. McGrath. Um, no, he didn't play for India. Uh, no, Wicketkeeper, yes. I've got a Wicketkeeper. We've just been through that one. So let's see who else is down there. I think I have to refresh this down the bottom. Uh, who's the best spinner of the current era? Well, let's just go about this. We'll go about the current stuff in a few days. We'll do more of that. The World Eleven team will be coming soon as well. Uh, Zahi Khan didn't play test cricket against Zahi Khan. Um, and on my side, I only picked one quick because I had Kapil Dev. So Srinath was probably the best Indian fast bowler I played against. Sangakara, no, well, he plays for Sri Lanka. Thank you. <laughs> good team. You like my team? Um, that's great. Thank you. Yep, you like my team. Great team. Yep, I think it is a good team. So if you just join me to wrap it up, Verinda Sivag, Dynamite. Sidhu, the best player of spin that I had to bowl to. Rahul Drava, the wall, just an all-round great player and great guy. Sachin, one of the greatest. Mohamed Azruddin, his wrist through the mid-wicket, hitting it through there, and just the way he could really dominate bowlers, he was fantastic. So Azar at fives, Ganguly at six, and captain, I thought he was a, a terrific captain and a, and a very dangerous player. Kapil Dev at seven, uh, all-round skills, one of the greatest ever all-rounders. Nyan Mongia, the keeper at eight. Harbhajan Singh, brutal um, bowler, Oof, gave it a rip. Loved watching the Turbinator bowl. He was a he was a, geez, he was a good bowler and tough to play against and a real competitor too. Anil Kumble, as I said, and then Srinath at number eleven. So thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. Tomorrow, uh, I'm tossing up whether I'm going to do Pakistan or the West Indies. Brian Lara messaged me uh, yesterday, so. Seeing he said Brian Lara messaged me yesterday, I might go for the greatest West Indian team I played against, and I played against some good ones. So thank you very much for joining me. See you tomorrow.